Hey everyone, it's Rob here again, and we're gonna do a nickel hunt today. I don't have any logged boxes from Bank of America, and so on my way home from work, I stopped by a Bank of America near my office, and I asked for a box of nickels, and she said, oh, hey, good thing we got a bunch of nickels in today, and I said, well, I could actually use two. I just didn't know if I should ask for two, because it's been a while since I've been in this bank, in this branch, and she said, you know what, let me get you two. So she goes to give me the one out and realizes she doesn't have the second one down there, and she asked the teller next to her, and she said, no, we got them in, but we put them in the vault. So it was a line behind me, and she's like, oh, well, right when she was going to bail on it, I could tell she was going to bail, her friend Doris in the back said, hey, I've got a, a box of nickels down here, and I could use getting a new one because this sucker's been here for a while. And so I was like, it's been there for a while. She's like, it's been here since I've been here. And I said, how long have you been here? She goes, I got here in March. So, you know, we'll take an eight-month-old box that's just sitting there. I'll show you the box. It's pretty beat up. It's pretty loose, but it is still sealed. It is an older box. So I'm excited to get into that one first, and then we'll get into the second one in a second video. Let me turn this camera around, and let's get started on this hunt. Okay, guys, here's the two boxes I spoke about in the opening. I'm really excited about this one. We'll have to see what's really in it, but it's definitely an older box just by the condition it's in. It's loose. It's been sitting there for a while. I've been having boxes thrown on top of it. So optimistic that it has some good finds, but you never know. Sometimes old boxes yield nothing, and sometimes they are big scores. Let me loop you in after I open this up. It's so loose that they're not even straight. But there is 50. I don't see any crazy enders, but I do see some discolored ones and some older ones. Anyway, let's get into it and I'll see what I get. All right, guys, 12th roll in. I was getting a little nervous. I've only got three 50s to show for it and I was pulling out some 60s and I get to about the third mark of the coin roll and we get ourselves a 1939 Philly. So, finally got a 30s coin. Sometimes boxes start off slow, sometimes they start off hot. You can't judge them by 12 rolls. So let's get back into it and see what else we get. All right guys, just a few rolls later in the 14th roll, we scored ourselves a 1948 D. That's our first from the 40s now. Let's get back after it. All right, guys, 21st roll in. Scored our second from the 40s. It's a 1940. And no mint mark. So 40s, Philly, 1940. Let's get back after it. Okay, kind of a slow box still. 24th roll in. Finally got another 1940s coin. And it's a Philly as well. So we will take it. Not a bad looking one. Again, slow box. The 30s, 340s, and 350s so far. And the 60s are slowly starting to stack up. But let's keep going and see what else we get. Okay, 31st roll into the box. We finally got another coin worth showing. 1946, plain date, just Miss Silver. It's only our fourth from the 40s though. Kind of a slow box from these Bank of America boxes. Really had high hopes for this, but lots more rolls to go. Anything can happen. Very next roll, roll number 32. I haven't pulled it out yet. You can see right there, we got a 1949. What's in front of it? A 64. A 1949 San Francisco. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, finally, 39th roll in. You can see it right there. We got a Buffalo behind this 04. I don't know what it is yet. Very nice. Followed by a 46. We'll look at that in a second. Back doesn't look too bad. Hopefully there's a date on it. Uh, uh, you can make that out. Looks like 
Could be 1919. Yeah, it looks like it's 1919. Could be 1929. Let me look under the loop real quick and see if I can get a better date and confirm it with you. But I definitely see a 19 blank 9. So it's either a 19 or a 29. And it's looking like it's a 19. Let me pull it up. All right, guys. I've taken a close look at the loop. And I can't quite make out that third number. But it appears to be a 1. And judging by the space between the two nines, it has to be a one. In the 29 year, there's a lot more of a gap between the two nines. So this is pretty clearly a 1919, and that's probably the best look you're going to get at it. So we'll take it. Not the best coin in the world, but twice the value of a 1929. So that's why it was good to have. And then you recall right behind it, we had a 1946. Philly as well so we'll put that in with the 40s and let's just check this one out because I can't quite make it out it's just a dirty 2001 we'll get back to the hunt and see if we find anything more but I'm glad I scored a buffalo so far in this box two rolls in the box 48th roll got ourselves a 1941 Philly so we'll put that with the 41 Phillies and we'll set them right there. All right, let's get back to the hunt. All right, everyone, we finished that box of nickels. Kind of bittersweet, not as good as I thought, but still not bad. We had 67 coins from the 60s. We had four 2009s. I did score a couple of really nice older coins. Look at this 1969. It is in really good shape. It would have full steps if it wasn't for a couple of scratches right at the steps, of course. Anyway, a couple other nice coins. Don't need to talk about them. We did get a 1951S, a 1952S, a 53 Philly, a 56 Philly with a 56 Denver, 57 Denver, 57 Denver, a 58 Denver, and three 59 Denvers. In the 40s, we got a 1940 Philly, along with another 40 Philly, a 41 Philly, a 46 Philly, another 46 Philly, a 48 Denver, and a 49 San Francisco. We got a 39 Philly, and the best coin of the bunch was the 1919 Philly minted buffalo nickel hope you enjoyed this hunt with me if you did please give the video a thumbs up and as always thanks for watching